Hello and welcome back to another video. This time we are unboxing the April scroller box which is quite late on because it is today is the 27th of April. But it's arrived today and I will be unboxing it. I've got thing I've got water ready, I don't know if I'm gonna need it. I've managed to keep away from any spoilers. So let's get unboxing. Some things have broken out already. So we've got an eraser, pencil sharpener, so I'm guessing pencils are involved. The sweet, looks toffee-ish, we'll check that out in a minute. Scroller box challenge and supplies, we'll come back to that. The rest of the supplies. And these, the school is Eve and everything here. Let's get rid of the box. So I like this tiger. So that makes me think coloured pencils rather than just ordinary sketching pencils. Ooh, that's nice. That might, that looks like a possibly pastel pencil. That is a lovely tiger. Cecilia Angustica. I really apologise if I've got that wrong. Uh, 21 years old from Mexico, born in Mexico City. And all the Instagram and TikTok on there as well. Wow. Okay, yeah. Tone drawing paper. That is a little bit. I like the feel of that. That makes me think pastel as well because there's a bit of tooth to it. Okay. Let's unwrap the rest of these supplies. I don't know why I'm doing it like that when there's a big hole in the side. So there's the sticker, links to school is even. We have a fine liner, uni pin, extra fine brush. Okay. Six fine art pencils. Uh, I guess it could be the artist's choice for creative enjoyment. Okay, let's get these out because I have no idea what these are. They look like just kind of coloured pencils. Ooh. Oh, Chroma Flow. They're the new ones, I think. From Derwent. So, this will be nice to check out. Right, we'll come back to that in a second. I'll leave them out of the box. Okay, scroller challenge. Walk on the wild side. I like this. Let's take a wander into the wilderness. Taking inspiration from this month's featured artists, we're encouraging you to delve deep into the jungle kingdom of your imagination. Get creative with textures, colour depths, mark making, and building up your line work to explore the wild side of your artwork. Okay, let's have a look a bit more at the supplies on the back. So yeah, Chroma Flow pencils. Guarantee bold, vibrant and saturated colour for any project. Wax base. So rich and creamy lay downs. Specially designed to layer and blend. That's why it looks so smooth. Um, they blend better than oil base. They're formulated with rich pigments that will show up not only on white paper but toned. Well, that's good. I like toned papers and black, even on black. Okay, so they're meant to be more um, durable because they've got glue applied the entire length of the pencil. Okay. Fair enough. Toned paper, drawing paper, textured paper, yeah. Great all round surface, yeah, pastels and shorts, that's why it got me as well. The brush fine liner, fade proof, water resistant, sharpener, it's a sharpener, um, and a razor, it's an eraser. Okay, so, 
going to... I really like that tiger. I like tigers anyway, but I really like that. I'm going to put that to one side as well. Ooh. So, let's test these out a bit. Go back to the surface. So that's quite flimsy paper. But it doesn't need to really kind of hold up. What's the GSM on that? 115, so yeah, it's not you don't need not gonna be able to use water on that. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the fine liner because I know where I'm going with that. And that is a very fine brush. It's really nice actually. And I do use quite a few of the uni pin pens anyway. So they're good quality pens. nice although it's not great on this paper you can see it catches the texture I suppose if you're just doing lines it's okay that'll take a bit of practice I think on this paper okay so let's have a look at the colours we've got on the chromophobe pencils so we've got golden sun don't know if you can see that I mean, it is a nice colour and it does show up, but obviously it's a, yeah, and it get quite a bit of off the paper when you rub it, so that's what it means by it's blendable. Because if you did that with an oil-based pencil, it would not come off like that. So as I'm going to practice with this fine liner, I'm going to try and, yeah, it's not really made for writing. Yeah, I might give up on that idea. Okay, so we've got white. This will probably show, yeah, that shows up nicely. Uh, raisins, that's a kind of brown. I think I'm gonna have to sharpen these before I get really tight because they are quite flat. Um, what's that? Yes, basil. So green, nice kind of darker green. thing is you go through all these different kind of colours in different um, sets and the colour names it's like can't you call them all the same thing so I've got a good idea what I'm using but yeah okay so a different green foliage yeah so it's kind of like a grassy green or a leaf green And last but not least, black. Okay. So, now I need to test out the eraser because I want to find out how well these rub out. I think they might rub out reasonably because of the amount that you can get off of your finger. So, let me just see what I can do through each of these. That's actually taken off quite a bit of the paper. So, and not much of the colour. Hmm. No. The what? It worked back on the white. That's quite reasonable. But again, it's taken off quite a bit of the paper with it, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's just the eraser. 
Yeah, see, green is smudging it all out. I think it's kind of obviously dyeing the eraser. Yeah. It's just kind of okay to it erases it, but it's not like a cre a clean erase, if you get what I mean. It smudges out. Which is I mean you can easily go over it, I imagine. Let's see if I can just get rid of that. No. And it's not gonna erase it completely. I mean it takes the black out quite well. I'm gonna go back to that golden sun because yeah, you can if you put a bit more pressure behind it. I obviously didn't put enough pressure. Lots of mess with that. Okay, so we've got two hole sharpener. Oh, it's quite good balance. It's still, to, I like their sharpeners. I've got like this is one of theirs. I've got another one of them elsewhere. So the ones I tend to go for. This is also fine. So let's sharpen some of these up and see how they look. Ooh, that sharpened nicely. Nice point on there. That's the basil. It breaks easily. That's the point. Um, again, wax based. They're gonna. They're a bit more delicate than your oil based. Let's try the whites. I always find that whites don't sharpen as well. Yeah, yeah. just got to be careful when you put that very sharp point down because it does break. But you can get some nice lines. So, put that away. Oh, I didn't look at what the sweet was, did I? I know some of you will be more interested in the sweet. That's normally in the scrollers, which we haven't looked at either. Right, let's go into the scrollers, April 2022. So, yeah, any chroma flow pencils, eraser, yeah, all that we know. Ultra pigmented pencils, super smooth flowing. Yeah, they do flow smoothly, I will give you that. Sweet treat, swizzles, butterscotch, ooh. Butterscotch, lovely. Hard boiled taste with a true butterscotch flavour. More about the featured artist. Oh, I love this work. I like drawing wildlife. If you go onto my Instagram or Facebook, that's most of what you will see on there. Scroller tips, artist advice. Choose all the colour for pencils I'll be using for the drawing. Well, we've got six, so. They've been chosen for us. When you start drawing, try pressing hard enough on the paper to not leave any black spaces. Don't be afraid of using up your coloured pencils. Since I've been doing this, I have a 48 pencil tin that I've had since I was 15. Yeah. Sharpening pencils, press hard on the paper tip will probably break it. But try sharpening them little by little when required, not too much, okay? How do I make colours look so very well blended together? Press hard and do tiny circles between the colours. I want to blend to get the combination I want. Also, a very good tool I use to blend the colours is the, the white coloured pencil. Yeah, I've started to try that out myself. Things to try. Chrome flame pencils are fantastic for blending and layering. So, yeah. Might go back and have a look at that in a second. Ooh, Scholar Gallery. February. I love the February box. I wish I'd done a better one for the challenge. Because I've used the paints from it. For a few different things since. Jellyfish. But I've seen... Oh, that twisting mandalas, I love it. It wouldn't normally be my thing, but it is really good, cleverly done. And colour theory. And earth hay, which we've missed. 
Trees for the future. We have planted close to 300,000 trees with your help. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go back to these hints in a minute and see how well we can blend them. I'm just going to go with the two greens for a minute. Let's kind of see where we go. We said you could use your finger. And kind of blend in with the white. It makes a lot lighter colour. Ah. Yeah, I'm not the best at blending pencils. Something I need practice at. But yeah, I mean it's a nice set of supplies. I'll give you that. The Chroma Flow pencils, not cheap. Um, uni ball pin pens, they are reasonably priced. Um, good quality, so nice to be able to try. Pen, eraser sharpener, standard. The paper is nice. I like it. Artwork is brilliant. School challenge, really interesting. So we'll see what we can come up with that. And that will probably be the next video, I think. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. I'd be very grateful. Um, I meant to say click the notification bell, but yeah, I don't tend to do that. So I don't know. Um, and yeah, I will see you soon for another video. Oh, check out Instagram and Facebook. All the details will be in the description. Take care and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.